Part 1. How to upload a fax document. Log into your account, which I've already done, go to Messages, and then click on Fax Documents. And then go to New Document, and title your document whatever you'd like. I'll name mine Test for the sake of the video. In the description, you could put any information you like to help further describe your document. Currently, when uploading, only tagged image file formats, or TIFFs, PDFs, and JPEGs are currently supported. Once your document is uploaded, click on Save, and then it will upload your document. Finally, click on View to make sure that it's the correct document. Part 2. How to upload a fax list and start a fax campaign. First, click on Contacts and make sure that you're under Contacts Group. Then click on New Contact and then Add New. Title your contacts whatever you'd like. I'll name mine Contacts. Then click Save. Then go to Contacts and select your contact group and click Import. Then browse for your local file. Currently CSV and texts are supported, TXT, and make sure that the target group is correct. Then click save and you're done. Starting a fax campaign is easy. Go to campaigns, campaign management, and then click on fax document. Name your campaign whatever you'd like. Leave your campaign mode as normal and change your contact group. Then select your fax document. Under the settings for the max concurrent channels, the default is currently 100 for US and 5 for Canada. Leave everything else as default. Then go back to the top and then click save. and you can monitor and check your results in real time. In this part, I'll tell you how to format your fax datasheet. If you need to format your fax datasheet, make sure that all your numbers are in the first column. If you need to add the country code to follow the format for uploading, this is easy to do. Open it up in Excel, and then right click on your column that contains all your numbers. Right-click the cell column with all your numbers in it, and then click on Format Cells. Under the Number tab, there is a category named Custom. Click on Custom, and then in the box that says General, type 10. Zero is the value of all your numbers, so that it will stay the same. Adding a 1 as a prefix before zero will cause Excel to add a 1 before all your numbers. Then you're following the correct format. 